Alright, what's good? YouTube, Chris J here on the Christopher Leon Johnson uh, YouTube page. Um, you know, I, I, myself in general from New York City, I've been listening to metal since I was like 10 years old. Um, Start for the Linkin Park shit. You know what I mean? In like 2001, something like that. I've been starting with new metal since like, you know, since 2001, you know what I mean? That's my that's still my favorite genre. My my personal shit with metal is I like any fucking music with clean vocals. I'm a clean vocal guy. I like the ones with like the melodic solos. I, I'm not a big fan of like the little death growl shit unless it's like some trash metal like obituary and like death and like a maneuver creation like the old school death metal like the one that had like the real talent on like the new wave shit was like all like noise, like some deathcore shit. I'm not a big fan of deathcore shit, but this is not about that. Um, I seen this video, the article recently on blabbermouth.net and Lamb Goat and Revolver magazine, um, stating that the uh, machine head might break up. So I saw the video, um, on the YouTube, I, I'm not a big fan of like watching a lot of videos because I have other things to obligate myself on. And sometimes I might be at work, so I can't be on my phone that much at work. I lose my job quick. So I saw the tape, the you know the tape version, like the post-recorded version of the live video that uh, Rob Flynn posted up. And you know he was trying to say you know all this stuff like that, and he, he tried to blame himself for that. But all I could say was myself. My opinion is it was bound to happen. You know, myself, I've been blocked by Nuclear Blast Records um, Facebook page. And I could tell I've been blocked on their um, YouTube page too. I can't comment. I subscribe. I can see what they posting up because the music, I like some of the artists on their label. But but some of the artists are real horrible. Even the veteran artists they have they are, are trashy. But, you know, if I put a comment up, nobody will like it. And if I put, I came in like like um comment on their Facebook page because I said a lot of things that you know probably their little bitch ass little punk ass coke headed um VP whatever you want to call himself at the label these days Monty Connor and you can tell him that I said that he's a fucking cokehead um cokehead Monty Connor saw some comments and he probably told the social media team to block me because he knew it was true so what I saw with Machine Head was, you know, they was on Roadrunner since, like, let's say Road Racer or the All Blacks BV, what you want to call it, because they've been calling some a lot of things at the time when he was on that label of the All Blacks, Road Racer, you know, whatever they don't call themselves that time. When it was on Roadrunner, they wasn't, you know, they was doing new metal, then they went to fucking Groove, then they went to, like, pop type version of shit like that, all this stuff like that. And they was never talking about, you know, um, they was never talking about all this social justice warrior shit. Uh, myself, on, I have a, like a little LGBT flag in my room. I, my room kind of dirty, so I'm not going to be able to show it because it's all shut the fuck I clean this up. But if you see my po photos on my Facebook, you see you have the little LGBT United States flag. So... Uh, this is, I'm not anti. I'm not homophobic. I'm not anti LGBT. I'm not this, this, and that. But the problem with Machine Head was they was promoting a fucking. Um, they wasn't saying all this SJW bullshit. Um, like a lot of bands of Nuclear Blast right now, like Machine Head and fucking um, and Ministry. They wasn't talking all this social justice warrior shit. The Machine Head I fucking listened to when like under the Roadrunner years. Was they was talking about like Viking shit and like fucking devil worshipping shit, like all the all the hardcore shit. That what people was fucking with. But when they went the nuclear blast, I knew when they went nuclear blast, it was a matter of time that you know their shit was gonna die off because from a, a, a out. Let's say I'm, I'm a black guy, right? So people might say this guy he's a fucking nigger. You know, a lot of guys might be on the comments saying now, you know, he's a fucking nigger. And, you know, he's he had the nerve to fucking talk about fucking metal. He should be talking about, like, 6 9 and shit like that. I listen to hip-hop. 
but I've been deal I've been listening to metal since I was ten years old. I've been listening to a lot of metal, mainly new metal, and then I shipped over to like the the rover type shit, like spine shanks and your ill ninos, your typo negatives, and all the shit like that. Nuclear blast, like I said, like they were known for like the extreme shit, and now it's all like, well, let's see. If the, they didn't never, they never really cared about like at the time when Road Runner was like doing the real metal, like hate breeders. Like they never cared about like, well, let's see who could do the most, who we could have like a pop star. Now, when Nuclear, when Road Runner like technically dissolved and went to like the pop section, like pop route, and they were sold the the Warner Music Group, and they took wrote, wrote Warner to like the whole fucking shit. And they turned to a pop label, so they dropped mostly every artist, like SoFi, uh, Mutiny Withins, and all those, Dragon Force, a lot of those bands that was like in their 2010 and above. They all, they all got dropped. They all got dropped, except Slipknot and Trivium and, and um, a lot of those other, Capera Attack and all those other bands, right? But mainly, majority, like 95% of other bands got dropped from the label. They had to find new labels. I fucking knew... When I, I fucking knew Nuclear Blast was going to do the same, sh was going to turn to that same fucking label because the problem with Nuclear Blast is they, they all over the fucking place. It's like one one year you're under Universal Music, the next year they're under The Orchard, and then now they're on the fucking Warner Music Group ADA. So they always going to do whatever they got to do, get some fucking funding from, from the big dogs. So of course they're going to be slowly want to sell the fuck out. They're slowly going to sell out and... Force their bands to do the pop shit and make every every album sound like a fucking pop pop single and all this shit like that. And now the major record labels won't even give you a, a certain amount of money, or the major companies won't corporations won't give you a certain amount of money unless you push in the leftist agenda, the whole SJW agenda, and you change your image and all this shit like that. You know it was a matter of time. And, and I know once they got signed to um, Nuclear Blast, it wasn't gonna be well. You know. They will nuclear blast will always do whatever they gotta do to get the fucking money. Even if they have to devalue their fucking product and you know tone down their shit. You know, let's say they will fucking sell out quick. A lot of bands are fucking sellouts. They won't admit it, but they are. And a lot of bands so, look like they sold they fuck they sold the fuck out to the left to get a fucking check. And they understand like you're gonna sell out to a side where they will quickly sue you if you give them if they they can find a loophole and sue you even you give them a, a, a decent service they'll find a loophole and sue you if that's the people you want to serve then you know good luck you know, I, I don't want it I mean good luck you know what I'm saying but but it's going forward I don't know where I was at going forward right so when when Machine Head with the nuclear blast I was like you know this is not gonna be good this is not be good nuclear blast was slowly turning to that let's turn out let's let, make ourselves to like Sumerian Records and fucking Epitaph and make try to make every band of fucking pop artists try to get every band of Coachella try to get every band of fucking South by Southwest and that's what happened with Machine Head you know once they did the um Bloodstone and Diamonds I think I believe that's the album people get me correct on that shit the it wasn't that well it was it wasn't that well they tried that whole um how you want to call it, the fucking long-ass dream dinner type shit, that was not going to work. You're not, they're not even a prog band. They're just another, they're not a group metal band, you're trying to do a prog album type format. It wasn't going to work. And you're trying to do a concept album with everybody know, unless you're like a big time band like Judas Priest or Iron Maiden or Metallica, you will, you might have, you might make a big return. Like, and, and you got to see the business. The whole making an album shit. If I, if I did an album myself, I don't see the business. I'm not gonna do a concept album where everybody know unless you're a power metal band like Iced Earth or your fucking um Jack Panzer or Panzer or Evergrey and shit like that, yo, you're not gonna really make a return. You go piss more people off than uh, often. And when I see with nuclear blast albums from two thousand twelve and beyond, it just like they're like a majority of those albums are like uninspired. Majority of those fucking albums are like they're rushed. They sounded fucking like you know they took ten minutes to do the album, 
mixed and mastered it and got some cheap artwork and they just put put it out and then you had your PR teams try to it, it was a fucking mess. Um so back to Machine Head shit. What I saw Machine Head was like boom, these fucking guys especially Rob Flynn. He you know that guy should blame himself. Instead of trying to throw everybody else in the bus, he should blame himself because when you're t when you turn your whole shit to like now I'm trying to be a social justice lawyer. I'm trying to be a clout chaser. I'm trying to be a edge rank get a get nigga and bury the niggas that put you over. The bury the niggas that paid away that if they wasn't there, you would never got hot. How are you gonna bury a man? I don't give a fuck. I'm black. I'm a black man, right? So everybody know Phil Samuel from the Pantera and shit is no fucking you know being a racist guy. I'm not saying he racist, but he said a lot of white supremacist shit. Real shit. Be real. He have the right to believe what he want to believe. Straight up like that. I'm not going to be against that. My African, my African fat like that. I'm a black guy. I don't go fuck. My pal say fat right there. Ah, uh, whatever. He had the right to believe what he want to believe. Right? He had the right to believe what he want to believe. I could fucking say, fuck Phil, he's a red, this, 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 and that. But Rob should never said that about the guy. He should never fucking clout chase that like that. You know what I'm saying? He should never clout chase on... Phil Samo's name because we're for Phil Samo and like Pantera shit. Niggas bands like Double Driver, bands like fucking Cold Chamber, bands like fucking his band Machine Head would be fucking relevant. They wouldn't be hot. They won that hell metal down when metal was not seen in the nineties. That mess the mid nineties, like ninety four, ninety seven. So it's it's an oxymoron. You know what I'm saying? It's a real oxymoron to bury somebody that paved the way for your shit. You know what I'm saying? That paved the way for you to make music. It's kind of oxymoron. You were trying to say this, this, and that from comments of like 20 years ago and shit like that. Whatever. You know what I mean? Ah, what a boom. So, the the album that I was like, he's doing this cloud chase. It's going to be a matter of time. He, people will turn on his ass. A lot of his fans that's gonna will turn on him. You know what I'm saying? And people that... His fans are the fucking fans that believe in, like, Keck, alt-right, right-wing, this, this, and that. All the counterculture shit, right? Counterculture. Metal is a counterculture. How the fuck are you going to turn the counterculture to the, to the mainstream shit? The mainstream shit be, like, the left will be, fuck, are scared of the right. The left will be scared of, like, devil worshiping, like, the Viking shit, the fucking alt-right shit. The fucking all the all the all the all the, right, all the hardcore shit. They be scared of that. They pussy. They scared of that shit. And I was like, yo, why the fuck are you doing? Why are you cloud chasing? But you know, whatever. He not fucking gonna respond to comments. He typed nigga that block comments. Nuclear blast blocked me because they fucking said I was like, yo, all you niggas doing, all all y'all doing is having Rob Flynn clout chase on fucking Phil's name instead of saying, look, y'all need to worry about. Getting y'all shit up instead of clout chasing y'all. They fucking blocked me. I said, I mean, I said a lot of shit. They blocked me. When I heard the fucking the latest album, right? That Car Horses shit or whatever you want to call that crap, right? The new latest album. What the fuck they want to call it? Which dropped like early shit. That shit was whack. That shit was trash. That shit was all social justice warrior bullshit. It was just like Luke, um, Monty Connor, coke headed ass, told Wa Flynn. Yeah, you're going to make a fucking album and your lyrics going to be full of like social justice word shit because I got to get some fucking money from Warner and all the other record labels that we're distributed by and all our, all our fucking corporate sponsors. And that's what all they was caring about and trying to please the side. I want to stand, look, you're trying to please the side and this is what I don't get about the whole metal shit like new, like fucking Sumerian and like, they say like new ministry and OTEP. I mean, whatever, o ministry, you know, whatever, but... Rob, like, let's say Machine Head. You're ch they're trying to please a fucking side, right? Who everybody know they always want shit for free. They always want to find a way to get things for free. And if they don't get things for free, there'll be a fucking problem. Let me turn this shit up. Let me, this is some bullshit Twitter shit. Let me turn it, whatever Twitter shit, right? I saw the oxymoron. I was like, yo, this is bullshit. They, they, they completely sold the fuck out. They sold out hard. They sold out the fucking fan base that who don't who 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 actually fucking was the reason why they were hot. Who stood by them when they should have never stood by. When they were putting out shitty ass albums like after the fucking David and album. A lot of those albums weren't that well. 
they turned on him. And and it was a matter of time and I, I seen articles and shit like fucking comments on the on the on the feed saying that, you know, the band members wasn't feeling it because yo, they was they they felt like fucking slaves. I'll be fucking mad too if I put if I was forced to the produce it album, compose, co produce, write, promote, tour an an album, you know damn well you don't really believe in. You know damn well you're you're t- you're blatantly giving the finger to the fucking fans that made you hot. You know what I'm saying? That made you who you are. Um and 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 you know what I'm saying? It, it's pathetic. It was real sad. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to say that, you know, I'm not trying to say they broken up, whatever the fuck is gonna happen later on. But what I can really say about the machine head situation is they both that shit on the fucking selves. They really bought down the, on themselves because you know, that what y'all get for not listening to your fucking fans. That what y'all get to list, for listening to Monty Coke at Connor. You know, you listen to a fucking guy more while snorting his little fucking coke than, than you know what I'm saying, trying to get some money. He more about making enough money to support his coke addiction. And that's what's going on with that nigga, Monty Connor. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. You know what I mean? But hey, you know what I mean? Bam, broke, bam about to break up, whatever it is. But, you know, it's a life lesson. It's a business lesson. You know what I'm saying? I see this shit as a business. I'm not. I will never have like an artist put out a fucking album to piece aside that no damn well not gonna buy my shit. That's not gonna buy it. You know what I'm saying? You, it's retarded. That's like you trying to sell a house to someone that can't afford it. You know that's what's going on. You're trying to say, well, you know, I have a fucking nice ass pad. I'm a real estate agent. I, I don't sell real estate, but this is the analogy, right? I'm selling real estate. Fucking a million dollar real estate. But I'm trying to market it to people that can't even afford it. That can't even fucking their credit score won't even, won't even let them get it. That's what you're doing. That's what the, that's what Nuka Black, Nuka Black's like do these albums right now. They're trying to piece aside who can't even afford it. Who don't even want to buy it. They'll get for free. These motherfuckers don't even want Spotify. They, 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 these, these same motherfuckers, right? These same motherfuckers will have a problem with Spotify. Paying for Spotify. These are niggas that they trying to pee. These are the motherfuckers that Nuclear Blast and a lot of these records like Nuclear Blast, Central Media, Sumerian, Epitaph, they trying to please. You're trying to please niggas that don't want to buy, they, they don't want to fucking buy Spotify. They don't want to pay the membership for fucking Apple Music. These niggas will never show up to your fucking shows. This is the side that these record labels complete, especially Nuclear Blast, bitch ass label. This is the label that they these people they trying to put the fan base they want to please. Well, the fan not fan base like the side they want to please. All the motherfuckers, the motherfuckers that don't have fuck it that that don't want to buy shit that don't want to support that they want everything for free. They want a handout. Everything's a handout. These motherfuckers, but that's a fucking fact, yo. But man, whatever machine have had the machine head and shut that whatever it is. It's all whatever. You know what I mean? It's, it's life. You know what I'm saying? It's a business. That, it's a business lesson. It's a life lesson. You know what I mean? That has to be learned. But I'm, I'm going to go with this shit. I'm going I'm to skip out on this motherfucking this video right now. I was going to do a lot of video about a lot of topics, but it wasn't in my schedule. But this is a topic I'm going to break balance like that, but it's all good. All right? Peace out. Later.